Okay, so the grill is all mounted in there now, just two bolts on each side. That fabric you saw me put under there um, was just this stuff that I found lying around. It's not actually what I'm going to use under there, but I'm going to have some sort of um, padding underneath so I just don't have metal on metal contact there. So this is good. The cowl is good now. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take this off and straighten out the this edge here a little bit because it's still not very even and this side isn't very straight. It kind of bends in a little bit. So once I get that all straightened out, I can cut the hood to size. I'm going to start by cutting it to fit the front. And then it will be longer in the back and I can mark it just underneath and then cut it back from there. Okay, so now the hood is cut to length on both sides. Underneath there I have some thin cardboard folded up to imitate the some sort of leather padding that will be under there eventually. And I've been using that just to kind of get the final bends in place. If there's high spots or low spots anywhere um, on the hood, I can just kind of bend it back into where it has to. So what I'm doing now is the sides here at the bottom of the hood I need to make these as straight as possible. Um, right now on both sides they have a slight outward bend to them. The hood sides that will fit in there are perfectly straight so I want those to mate together nice and cleanly. So I'm going to take this to the English wheel and I'm going to show you how I'm going to just gently straighten that out. Okay so I have the smallest radius lower anvil in here. I think this is a three inch radius. And what I'm doing is I have very little pressure in there. Not, not enough pressure at all to actually stretch the metal. And I'm just kind of using it to form it. I'll run it along the edge here, and then as it runs along, I'll kind of pull down on this side and form and just bend that edge over. And I'll just run it back and forth like that, trying to bend it more in the middle than on the edges. 
and if I do that for a while, it'll, it should start to straighten out. And of course, I'll check it pretty often to know where I need more bend. Okay, so the top part of the hood fits good enough for now. So now I'm going to move on to the side panels here. The first thing I have to do before I start mounting them is there's a gap under this portion here, right before this bend in the frame. So I just need to trim a little bit off of this section here to get that down flush. And then once that's down there, we can start bolting that up. Okay, so I have those two aluminum reels there cut out. Those will be bolted down to the frame the same way um, the cowl is bolted down. Now, for these rivets on the outside, I'm going to continue the same rivet line here up into the hood. Now, these rivets here are spaced two and a half inches from each other. 
This is the last rivet that's actually holding anything. These two, um, these are just the heads. They're stuck, in all, stuck on there with a little bit of grease so I can just see where that's going to be. So this is keeping with that two and a half inch spacing. Um, this is a good place for that first rivet. I think that looks all right. When I get to the front though, the last rivet is like almost right on this edge here. So I'm going to want to have that about the same distance in as this one is. So I did a quick calculation and it turns out there's going to be 13 rivets across there spaced just over two and a half inches. So it won't be the exact same spacing, but it should be close enough that you won't be able to see a difference and it'll be nice and symmetrical with the same amount of space left on each side of the hood. Okay, so both panels here are drilled and chamfered and bolted together and ready to be riveted. And I'm just gonna rivet these the exact same way I've done before with these little aluminum rivets there, this homemade rivet gun, and this backing bar to hold the back end of the rivet. So I'm gonna do all the holes you see there right now, then I'll take out those four bolts, do those, and it should be that simple.
Okay, well, as you can see now, the front half of the body is pretty much finished. And you can really tell what this car is going to look like now. There's just a couple little things left to do with the hood, like trim the sides here to fit those side panels, and then bolt those side panels down to the frame. But I'm going to wait to do that until I have the leather straps that I'm going to put in between the panels here. It'll just be like some really thin leather for padding there, just because that will change the alignment of the panels just a little bit. Uh, but overall, the hood turned out really well. You notice that I left these little tabs on the sides of the side panels here to fit into the cowl and the grill shell. And that actually does a really good job at securing the top of these panels. You can see I can move there and it's in there very snugly. And these aren't even clamped down right now. These panels here just set in there and they don't move hardly at all. So once those are actually bolted down and I have some padding in there, they should be, should be nice and solid. Um, so that's all I have for you now. Unfortunately, the summer is over and I have to go back to college tomorrow. Um, so this is going to be the last video you're going to see on this project in a while. I know a lot of you probably would have liked to see more progress on this over the summer and I definitely wanted to as well, but um, I have other things going on. I was working a full-time internship all summer, so that kind of took a lot of time away from this, but I tried to get down here as much as I could and get as much done, work done as possible. But I will be back, don't worry. And before I go though, I have one last thing. It's a beautiful day out today and I want to see this aluminum in the sunlight. So I'm going to tow this up the driveway with the tank. I haven't driven the tank in way too long, so we're going to take both of these creations out in the sunlight so you can get a good look at both of them. And you know, I bet this couch could actually pull it out too. If I had it in first gear, this thing's got six speeds and first gear is basically a stump puller. So. But maybe we'll use this next time. I just got to get it out of the way for now.
Well, this aluminum sure is bright in the sun, but it's so nice to be able to stand out here and take a good step back and see what it looks like from afar. And it is looking really nice. I can almost see it driving down the road right now. Um, there is still a long way to go for this project, obviously, but I'm really excited for what's to come, and I'm excited to take all of you along for the ride. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.